Right now, these, with these telescopes functioning, we have about 45% of all of ground-based telescopes in Chile. But with these new projects that I'm showing you here, it'll be 70% of all of the telescope power in, on, in, from ground-based observatories in the world will be located in Chile. So Chile is the place to be. Um, this is the LSST, the, the Large Synoptic Survey Telescope. Uh, this is also located near the Gemini uh, South facility. This is an 8.1 meter telescope, excuse me, an 8.4 meter telescope with a very wide field. Its field is the equivalent of, of 40 moons that can take that big of an area of the sky at one time. And it will be dedicated to observing the sky uh, every night, every three uh, nights, they will have observed the whole southern sky that they can see. They'll uh, observe it again, and they'll be looking for what we call the transient sky, things that change, things that change in brightness, things that move, like asteroids, planets, any, anything like that. It's going to be uh, a tremendous amount of data that's going to be producing. <clears throat> There's our big project on Las Campanas uh, with, a, with a, a number of uh, universities and countries, uh, the GMT project, the Giant Magellan Telescope. Uh, this is perhaps a bit of an optimistic date, maybe 2022, 2023. We hope that this will be uh, uh, functioning. I'll show you, we're actually preparing for the construction right now. And then the European ELT, Extremely Large Telescope, they had the VLT and the ELT. <laughs> Actually, the, they wanted to build a 100-meter telescope. This one's only 39 meters. Uh, and the 100-meter telescope was called OWL, the overwhelmingly large telescope. 